Hello guys, welcome back to another Android Studio tutorial. In the previous episode, we already learned about how to write informations into the internal storage of the device. In this episode, we are going to learn about how to write informations into the external storage of an Android device. So here is a simple application that will demonstrate how to write informations into the external storage. Here is a text field. The user can write message using this text field and the user can write informations into the external storage using the write button and the user can read informations by using the read button. And here is a text view is available. The purpose of this text view to display the read message from the external storage. So now we have to add some on click method for the button so go to the XML version this is the right button here I am going to add an on click method so Android on click I name the method as right external storage and here is the read button and specify an on click method Android on click read external storage okay now we have to define these two methods in main activity dot java file so I copy the first method write external storage and here add the method public void add the view argument now add the second method read external storage public void read external storage add the view arguments let me just view okay so to working with the external storage of an Android device you need to add the needed permissions in the manifest file so open up the manifest folder and open up the Android manifest.xml file so here you need to add the permissions so in this application we are ne we are going to write and read informations from the external storage so we have to add only the write permission so if you add the write permission it will automatically add the read permission so here i am going to add the permission so users permission and the permission name is write external storage and close the permission okay now we have to perform in the uh, file writing and file reading so now here I am going to write the file into the external storage so to in order to write a file into the external storage first we have to get the external storage so create a file object file I name it as this is root equal to and use this method environment dot get external storage directory so before going to get the external storage first we have to check whether the external storage option is available or not in sometimes the user may be remove the SD card or the devices that means the external storage is mount with some PC in all these cases it is not possible to working with the external storage so first we have to check whether the external storage option is available or not for that here I create a string message string I name it as state first we have to find out the we have to get the state of the external storage so state equal to environment dot get external storage state this will return the current state of the external storage now we have to check whether the state is available that means the external storage is available or not so if environment dot media amount that means the storage is available dot equals state okay so open the bracket for the if loop 
So in that case, the external storage is available. Otherwise, we have to display some information for the user. So else, make a toast. Toast dot make test. Get application context. Okay, get application context and display a simple message external storage sorry SD card not found SD card not found okay so if the external storage is available before we have to define some other argument for the toast toast dot make it long and finally make the toast visible using show method okay so now if the external storage is available we have to create a folder in the external storage and we have to play some text file into the external storage so now here the external storage is available so first we have to create we have to get the root of the external storage so use the, this statement this will return the root of the external storage okay now we have to create a file there that means a folder on the external storage so create another file I name it as directory dir equal to a new file first get the path absolute path of the root so root dot get absolute path and specify the folder name here I name the file as my app file okay so this will create a new folder inside the external storage with the name my my app file now we have to make this folder so for make this folder we have to call the method called uh, mkdir this method will create the folder inside the external storage so before make the folder first we have to check whether the folder is already available or not so use an if loop if the dir folder is already available is exist so here we need to add a not symbol okay so if the folder is not available all is not already existing this will create this will make the folder so now we have the external storage directory and we create a folder inside the external storage now we have to create a text file inside this folder so create another file I name it as file equal to new file first specify the directory name here the directory is dir now specify the file name uh, here I name the file as my message dot txt is a text file so dot txt okay now we have the root now we on and now we create a new folder inside the root and we create a new text file now we can write some informations into the text file so first we have to read the message from the edit text here is the edit text with id edit text and here is the object for the edit text now we have to read the message from the edit text so create a string variable here I name it as message equal to edit text dot get text and convert this one into string okay now we have to write these informations into the text file for that we have to create an object of file input stream sorry file output stream reader file output stream so create an object of file output stream I name it as file output stream equal to new file output stream and pass the file object here it is file uh, here we have to handle some exceptions so surround this with a try catch here the exception name is file not found exception okay so now we have to write information into this file output stream so file output stream dot write 
and message here the information is available in this variable message and convert this one into bytes here also we have to handle some exceptions uh, add the needed catch clause uh, here it is IO exception okay so now we write the information into the into a text file available on the external storage of the device and finally we have to close the file output stream close uh, now we have to reset the edit text uh, edit text dot uh, set to text I reset the edit text I also display some message for the user using a toast so copy this toast Uh, message saved message saved okay so now we successfully write the information into the external into a text file available on the external storage now we have to read the information from the external storage and we have to display the information using this text view Okay, now we are going to read the information back from the external storage of the device. So first we have to get the root of the external storage and the folder and the file name. So we have to copy this one. First uh, get the root. Uh, now we have to get the folder. So we can use this one. Uh, get the folder and finally we have to get the file text to file so we have to find out the statement in which we create the text to file this one okay now we have to read the information from the from this text to file so create a string variable string message okay first we have to create an object of file input stream reader so file input stream so file input stream I name it as file input stream equal to new file input stream and pass the file object here this file here we have to handle some exceptions uh, surround with the try catch the exception name is file not found exception okay now we have to create an object of input stream reader so input stream reader equal to I named the object as input stream reader equal to new input stream reader and pass the file input stream object file input stream okay now we have to create an object of buffer reader so buffer reader I name it as buffer reader equal to new buffer reader and pass the object of input stream reader and finally for read the information we have to create an object of string buffer so create an object of string buffer I name it as string buffer equal to new string buffer okay now we can read the information from the buffer reader object so create a while loop here uh, while message equal to buffer the reader dot read the line put all this in a single bracket and the condition is is not equal to null uh, we have to handle some exceptions here add the catch clause here the exception is IO exception okay uh, now we have to read the information into the string buffer so string buffer dot append and here the message is available on this variable message and put a new line after finishing each line okay so now we have the information available on the string buffer now we have to display the information using the text view here the text view object is text view 
so text to view dot set text string buffer string buffer dot to string okay so when the application is loaded for the first time I just disable the text to view using set visibility into gone now we have to display now we have to set the visibility true for the text to view so text to view dot set visibility into visible okay now we finish the all the coding for read and write information using the external storage of the device now I'm going to run this application on a real device and now here we have the application available on the real device now here I am going to enter a message hello welcome this app demonstrate how to work with external storage okay now I'm going to write this message using write message button so now the message is saved into the external storage now here I am going to read the message back now read the message here is the message okay now we can check the file available on the external SD card so go to the files uh, here it is my files open this folder uh, check on the SD card Uh, our folder is not available on this SD card we have to check it on the internal storage device storage yeah here the folder is available my app file that is the folder so here in this case uh, here I using a Samsung Galaxy device in some devices a portion of the internal storage will act as an external storage that's why the folder is created inside the device storage so we can open this one I just opened the file here is the text file uh, the text file name is my message dot txt and here I open this text file here is the message hello welcome this app demonstrate how to work with external storage I hope you understand how to working with the external storage of an Android device thank you for watching see you in the next episode